another episode of coffee where we get to enjoy another phenomenal human being that is doing extraordinary he owns e africa yam farm his name is mawande he's going to tell us about what he's doing here hi put so wonderful i'm good thank you How are we, you? we good okay so we visited you today um tell us about the work that you do i know you've got a garden you've got a farm um that you're currently running tell up tell us about that Okay, so this um, farm was started in 2017. Um, I founded this farm. The motive behind it was the, like in the township, like when you walk up and down, like for instance in the mornings, you would see people who are queuing in the clinics, uh, long queues. Um, some of those people were very old. In fact, they are ranging from youth to like very old people yeah so i thought to myself what could be like the cause of their like various illnesses of course some people have got chronic diseases which yep. i believe um most of them or rather some of them uh, are caused by nutrition based um problems yeah yeah so and then at that time, where there were problems with the food, the question question with um, quality of food that mm, we healthy are, eating. Yes, exactly. Like bread um, yeah. being spoiled within a few days as compared to a long time ago. So that is a question of what are we um, eating? What are we putting in our systems? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I wouldn't go as deep in, in researching that in, in terms of trying to address that problem. Yeah. Right? But what I can do is to supply people with food that I know how it was produced. Okay. And yeah, so the main objective of Africa Yam was to um, provide soup kitchen um, okay. as a form of the pre-meal for those people who are, that are at the clinics. At the clinics and all that. Yes, okay. yes. So last year we did it from September oh, wow. uh, where um, um, giving uh, soup kitchen okay. to between 40 and 60 people every Wednesday. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. yeah, so this year we want to expand. And then that is 30% of the farm, right? Okay. That is dedicated to a soup kitchen. And then oh. 70% it's uh, commercial based because we want to sustain the farm. Yes. So we have to make a profit somehow. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so the soup kitchen is actually done by our non-profit company which is called Impiloya Africa. Impiloya Africa. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically that was the, 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 the main objective. And then the second one was to inspire youth, you know, to start their own projects as long as they have positive impact. Um, they are helping in terms of adv advancing like the needs of uh, the people in the community. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's a farm. Not everyone is thinking of starting a garden, but of course, I mean, there are people who want to do projects of similar scale, you know. Yes. So by coming in here every day, every morning, and people seeing me when I'm working here, so I, the hope is that they will be inspired to push and put the same effort yeah. um, on their respective projects. And then um, I would invite people who are, who I think They've got talent who are from the township, of course, you know, especially youth, um, to come and, and, and do entertainment. For instance, there would be last year we had a guy called Tipi Soul. He studied here in Simayene, he did music, he further his studies in, in UCT. Okay. And, um, and now he's, he has his own brand. Oh, so wow. he came here to entertain us on Heritage Day, and it was, it was good. So, what we're doing, we're exposing talent. Yeah. You know, yeah. And also, we want to also expose our own culture, you know, as a township. Yeah. Um, so that people are coming from outside because we have like labor labor uh, migrant museum here. Okay. Yes. So if people come, say for instance from from Germany or for, from overseas, Tourist. you know, and then they come in, they go to the labor museum, they get the tour and, and then what, you know, they can now come to the garden. Yeah. Um, here we'll be serving African food, as we oh, get the name wow. e Africa. E Africa yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that is what we want to specialize on: on African culture, African foods, African um, 
lifestyle, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and then by doing so, I think we'll be able to create more jobs. I mean, that is the entire end goal, you know. Um, we want to create jobs and look for jobs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that is that is the Africa I am in. That is the Africa I am. Okay, so I'm sure. interested. So you've mentioned a lot of uh, things happening within e Africa. You've mentioned soup kitchen. There's yeah. uh, garden as well. There's a lot of entertainment. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of you know attraction within the youth around here and yeah. the tourists that are coming into your hood. So what I'm what I want to ask is that what moved you? Um, in terms of, did you have to go study for, you know, agriculture, for example? Um, because you talk about healthy eating, you talk about, uh, you know, people not, you know, getting, you know, the, you know, um, healthy food um, at the clinics and all of that. So, is it something that you needed to go study first, or was it something that you've always been passionate about? Um, for me, um, I, I, part of my life, I grew up in Eastern Cape. And, and 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 as we are growing and, and as we are getting exposed to um, different things and information, I mean, we're living in a world of information where if you just you know yeah. type something on Google, Google yeah. <laughs> so it's easy to compare um, the lifestyle back then and the lifestyle today. Okay. You know, and one asks themselves, um, were we in the right track during those days because we didn't have so much diseases. Um, so, so clearly, when you look at things, we were living much more healthier before than today, and <laughs> we didn't have money, you yeah. know, and there was humanity, Ubuntu, yeah. you know, so I'll expand on that in a, in a <laughs> shortly. So, that was the, the motive to say, okay, let, let's, I think if we go back to the roots, to the roots, um, okay, then. so if we go back to the roots, um, we will be able to restore almost everything, health and Ubuntu, which is like the basic yeah. principle of not just black people now, but initially it was black people, but if we want to live together as one in South Africa, we have to, you know, kind of appreciate that yeah. there has to be that element of Ubuntu and the agriculture through that exchange of food back in the days because you know um, we would grow maize and I would exchange maize for sugar and yeah. then in the process of exchange of maize for sugar we get to talk about our problems in our families yeah. and then through that I get to know you better I get to know your child yeah. and then your child becomes my child and, and then it expands the you know yeah. exactly yeah. so that is why there was a saying that um, a child is raised by, by village. the community. Yes, yes for yes. the community. It it comes from that because back in the days, a community, a one household, um, that that humanity, it had spread to the whole community, such that you know all the household, I mean, all the child, all the children in the in the community, and your child will be my child so if your child is doing something wrong i would go and, and spank them yeah. and you wouldn't have a problem because we are the same we are one you know so that is only possible if we have food <laughs> you know the exchange of food not the exchange of you know those uh, online things that we do with our phones and we just send money i don't even get to know what are your problems yeah. so so um that that that's Another, a, a deeper, um, I would say, kind of a thing that I would like to address with this uh, garden. I know it's going to happen naturally. Once we are able to provide food, like the gentleman who just went by yes, here, yes. now, next time, I will know him better because I will have a time to talk to him and yeah. get to understand him, and then he will be my friend, and I will be his friend, you know, and then it will expand. So, if each and every household is able to grow their own food yeah they will not rely on the garden only you know they will be self-sustainable um and they that will restore their own dignity yeah right even when you go to look for a job you know you're not looking for a job to put something to eat yes. you know you're looking for a job because you want to improve you know so there's a difference when you want to improve and you want to survive yeah you have something but you want to improve it so you have a standard. You're not gonna accept something that um, 
you know it's not worth your your it's not of it's, it's of less value yeah you know? so that is that is that is another thing that the africa am guardian addresses you know but that one it happens naturally i don't have to facilitate it yes it it, it, it will happen as people come and as people learn to produce their own food because that's what i want yeah um i would like every household to have their own food you know stop pavements stop uh, planting flowers because we're not, not gonna eat flowers yeah you yes, know yes. and we're on recession now you know yeah. i think people should start thinking differently mm. recently you know um yesterday actually i was listening to news and in sierra leone there's a mining company there that closed that mining company was um people relied on it for almost everything for their survival in terms of jobs you know everything then it just shut down boom there's only one guy there who's not affected he is affected but not as bad Entirely. as he is because he has, he has his own garden yeah you know at least he's able to produce food and eat you know so even here in south africa it can happen you know we have to think of it today not when it happens because when it happens the whole mindset <laughs> changes yeah. you know we are thinking in in, in in a sense of emergence now so yeah. we won't be able to thoroughly um apply in yeah. our mind so we're thinking ahead preparing for the future and i mean that is the direction that we are taking as a yeah. country now there's the discourse is land 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 youth you know yeah land youth, youth so development, yeah. yes exactly so it is up to us as youth to say there is a gap chances are if we go to agriculture my background is in chemistry but i, I can i can see agriculture it's it's the future it is the future yes. of course my chemistry will it be incorporated in the near future in this agriculture because agriculture like it's it's almost all the fields it everything everything mm. is in agriculture yes yes you know so so as youth i think um we should position ourselves for those potential opportunities yeah. we're not saying they are there but we're saying there's a high potential that something will come up in this field you know so let's prepare ourselves say, let's um be ready to work the land you know um let's be realistic in terms of how we imagine our future to be and how are we working towards living that future or shaping the future to yeah. be as we imagine it to be yeah. yeah all right so, yeah um so there is nothing more amazing to see a community that is united and you've mentioned through your farming um a community has been united but i want us to dig deeper into um the emotional or the the, the depression that comes um within you know farming <laughs> all right because we always talk about the nicer things yeah. that okay there's a farm and people are enjoying the food and uh, you know there's uh, everything is planted and everything is good but we don't really talk about the financial stats we don't really talk yeah. about the emotional uh, the emotional conversation we don't talk about the depression that comes with it, the anxiety because i can only imagine how tired you are <laughs> on a daily basis yeah. because it is blazing hot here in Cape Town yeah. and you have to stand in the sun the whole yeah. day. So I want us to, to really dip, you know, dig into those conversations on, on how do you overcome the challenges, the depression, the anxiety. Um, what keeps you motivated on a daily basis to say, I'm going to wake up and go try again. Um, given the weather as well, specifically here in Cape Town where the weather is terrible yeah. and um, you'll find that sometimes you planted something and then tomorrow it's, it's dead. How do you overcome those challenges? Yeah, so so I'll, I'll say, um, you know, for one to be in agriculture, you have to be a little bit more passionate about it, because it's 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 not something. It is interesting, but not every day is is is, is a happy day. You know, yeah. sometimes you have to wake up and you feel like ah, I'm tired today, but. You know, if you didn't wake up on that day, then the whole bed is dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and 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 and, and as I said, um, this is like a CV. You know, it's a curriculum vitae, so it has to be good. You know, so that is the motivation. If I wake up, if I sleep and don't come to work, then that will reflect on my CV. Yeah. You know, and um, it's important that the garden is successful for for the next person because yeah. you know it's not easy to get land. So, if someone 
here in the community is able to say, I want to do farming, but I don't have land. And then maybe the government say, or the municipality says, well, if you can show that you can work the land, then maybe we can give you a chance. We can lease the land to you or we can rent it out or whatever, yeah. but we can give you access to land. Then this will be the reference. Yeah. So it, that is that is one thing that keeps me, you know, pushing and then yeah. moving. Otherwise, I would have been at work uh, as I have completed my degree and, you know, working and making some money. But, you know, sometimes you it's... To... Exactly, it's good to delay gratification. Yeah. It's, 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 it's always good to delay it. Um, especially for something that is worth it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's almost certain that this is gonna work. Yeah. It does not depend on anyone but the natural <laughs> um, disasters. Yeah. You know, yeah. that is the only thing that can stop me from, from 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 moving. So that is what keeps me going. There are young people here who, you know, like uh, young children who are still at primary. I work, I, some I work with them, um, I, I know, I am sure, I am 100% sure that when they grow up and they go to high school, this farm will be good and it will be better and they will, have, they will be proud that they were part of it when it started, yes, yeah. yes, and maybe that will open their mind into saying, okay, uh, we think agriculture, here is um, Mawande, he did chemistry, he has a publication, he's got a master's degree in chemistry, yet he's doing agriculture. And maybe at that time, I will have my own lab here, you know, if the cannabis is, uh, <laughs> if the cannabis is legalized, I'll be extracting yes. my own oils here and, 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 you know. So that is, that is the most important thing about the garden. It must be a reference for someone else yeah. and for myself. Yeah. So yeah. passion has got to do... Um, it's, it's got a lot to do with, uh, you know, how you keep your garden yeah. successful. Yeah. So talking yeah. about um, a garden that is very successful, what is it that you can tell us um, that makes your garden a little bit more, I could say, a little bit more different than others? What is that unique thing about your garden? Yeah, so so firstly, um, in terms of um, um, uh, uh, the production, um, system that we are using. We, we, we're doing organic farming, strictly organic farming. Strictly organic. Right. What, is, yes. what does that mean? So okay, organic farming means growing your vegetables using um, organic matter like your cow manure, house manure, horse manure, sorry. Um, just all like natural organic material. That is what we are using, um, and I think for some reason this soil was fertile in its own. I don't know because oh, everything okay. that I've planted here it has grown. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I <laughs> talk about being lucky. You know, I think uh, that one it was just God's um, grace. That, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. So that is the trick. But I mean, obviously you need you need um, uh, reliable water supply. Mm -hmm. You need um, constant. Um, monitoring of the growth process of all the plants and you need to know your strength you don't want to come here and, and work the whole garden the, on one day and then tomorrow you can't come mm -hmm. you know you know so just planning um, planning ahead trying to balance you know social life and you know because at the end of the day I'm also a human being and yes. I want to you know yeah but <laughs> I mean you, you don't have much time and I also look at other people who have their own companies not necessarily gardens but you can see these people they are they, 5 a.m. they are busy working mm. you know and then they don't have time to spend the money people who spend money are people yeah. who are you know yeah. who are working the consumers they yeah. spend you yeah. know but people who are making it they don't have time they are you know constantly so that is one of the things that I also like look up to and like oh that guy I see how how much effort they're putting so it means I must put more it, it means this thing is possible yeah it means I'm not crazy by waking up at five and yes. coming here to work because there is someone who's also doing the same thing you know yeah that could do it even you better know, yeah, yeah exactly so yeah yeah, yeah. All right. that is it, that is very interesting that you've mentioned that um so there's a lot of hard work so one of the reason why we have this channel is to basically tell young people 
of the importance of hard work okay yes. and yes. through that you've mentioned um, a lot of passion you've, you've mentioned a lot of um, hours that you need to put up 